Earlier uh, this uh, weekend, there were uh, claims of some banks rejecting new 100 CDs and 200 CDs notes. And uh, this afternoon, we're privileged to have in the studio the uh, the head of currency at the management at the Bank of Ghana, John Jinfi, joining us. Uh, good afternoon. Thanks very much for happy joining us. So, uh, Thank many happy me. returns. Uh, thanks very much. I, we're curious. Uh, how did it get to the point where banks will reject uh, currencies? It's unfortunate, and we take those issues very seriously. If we hear, we go, and we investigate, we resolve. I understand some of the reasons being given by some of the branches are that the machines haven't been calibrated yet. But the few incidences that we have investigated, it is true not all the branches have had their machines calibrated. Calibration of the machines is the duty of the supplier of the equipment to the bank. We have given them all the necessary data to upgrade and calibrate. Unfortunately, most of the suppliers reside offshore, and so they have agents here who will send the data for the upgrade to be done, it is brought to them, and then they go around to ins install. So it means that you, so you cannot blame the central banks for, uh, the, sorry, the commercial banks for making a decision to reject these currencies because the they, upgrades have not taken effect? Honestly, they don't have a point because they are stakeholders, and immediately the money was introduced. We have brought them together, tellers, cash managers of the banks, and giving them the training. Duties mm. of the, receiver. the machines help in a second level of authentication. The very primary one, which everybody, including you and I, should know, we call the public recognition feature. And that alone is enough for a good teller to authenticate the notes. And so we have. Put, brought them together and giving them all the training that they will need for both levels. And so even if you have not calibrated, yes, but the public recognition feature method of authentication is quite manual and cannot be as swift as the machine wants. And so the few cases we have inve investigated is in the case of the customer not having the time and the patience to wait. They would take a combination of mm. denominations. Mm. They would quickly put those ones that are already calibrated in the system and then set these ones aside. Sometimes when the volumes are, when they would want somebody else to attend to them specially or take it to the manager and say, go and see Right, so manager. what's going to happen next? I mean, you just said that you will investigate and resolve, but in between investigating and resolving are people who for example are found culpable to have no basis at all in rejecting the currency going to be uh, punished honestly we haven't found that yet the investigation we've done with a little bit of time okay. and patience okay uh -huh. so would have been said in the meantime what's your instructions to the uh, commercial banks in commercial this banks and the uh, shopping agents that we have visited and continue to visit we have given them instructions to quickly complete the calibration exercise. Mm. Meanwhile, they should use the public recognition features to. So and, are, and, and we've spoken to the leadership you are certain of all that, banks. You are, we certain are certain that this that. embarrassment will not reoccur. And, 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 and the way they are moving with the calibration, I believe by, by the end of this month, it should be resolved. Most of them would have. Right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Jenfi, for okay. coming. Uh, we're grateful for your time.